Sunday morning, 7 a.m. in the morning, I got pulled over by the car. He <laughs> <laughs> came to the window of my car with his gun in my head. I wanted to know, what did I do that made you feel the need to approach my car with This is very important because police are supposed to be protecting us, but they're harming us instead of protecting us. I said the police are harming us instead of protecting us. Black on black violence is not getting license to police brutality. Just because, you know, we live in a problem where and with people that people like myself and organizations and events like this who are actively trying to cure black on black violence does not make it okay for other people to do the same thing to us. That doesn't make it okay for blue on black or white on black or brown on black or red on black. Just because these are the problems that we're dealing with does not say, oh well, y'all doing it to yourself, it's okay for me to do it too. That's and I, 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 I might have painted this paint this picture and forgive me for this example, but that's just like saying you see a young lady who was just raped. You go, oh, okay, it's okay for me to rape because somebody else just did it to me. Like, no, that's not okay. You know what I'm saying? You can, I can be a victim of black on black violence, which I was at 17 years old, which resulted in my paralysis, and still care about how police officers treat me. I can address both issues that I said is before. The gun put up to my head. I even had confrontation with uh, a police. I'm a, I'm a veteran, even with the VA police. So, you know, it's something that has to be be stopped. The youth here, so they can hear um, what we what they should do on a police encounter, to hear from the basketball players who are up on the stage, let them know their experiences so to help them out so they can do it the right way when they're encountered by the police. So I think it was a good educational piece. It's a good to let these kids know that people are here supporting them. So I think it was a very good, positive event. Well, for me, it's very personal. I have three sons, um, 24, 20, and 17. But, you know, I'm an African-American man. Plus, 10 years ago, I had my, my own cousin, Sean Bell, was killed by NYPD. So well, that's the anniversary next month, of 10 years. So it's very personal for me. I want to help men um, talk out so we don't act out. Even when you get pulled over by the cops, you might be mad and everything, but you gotta keep your composure because your actions isn't working the light taken. So I really feel that, you know, it, it, it's horrible that it's unfair, but like I said, it's it's worth, it's worth taking the, the time to put in so it can be first so that we can get out home safely. What's your profile? How concerned are you about this? I mean, the whole point is, you know, we're, we're the, the, the beauty of what happened today was we have an older generation and a younger generation, and we're talking about how we're dealing with the same issue. Like we said, it's been going on for a long time, which is issues with the police. And we're giving different perspectives of trying to see how we can come to conclusions. Um, and, you know, talking about how we can fight police brutality, how you can get home safe, how you can, you know what I mean, um, we, we hear heard from policemen and uh, Peachy County policemen and what their objective is and how each police department is completely different. So some of the police the, the issues that you have in one police department, you might not have another police department. But it was a great conversation. It's just a starter. I mean, we're going to have plenty more of these. Um, but this